Hey guys, John here with RealTruck.com and today I'm going to show you something that's a lot of people have been asking about. I put these new uh, aftermarket bumpers on my truck. Now what do I do about my sensors? Well, we're going to show you how to drill out your sensors on your, on your bumper so that you, or drill out the holes on your bumper so that you can reattach your sensors and get everything working the way it's supposed to. Be, supposed to. The first thing that you want to do and you can see here we've already marked out our bumper but what we did is we, we went to our factory bumper measured out the distances how far apart they were where they sat on the factory bumper and then we came in here measured our aftermarket bumper marked them out so what we're going to do now that we've got them marked out is we're going to drill these out and I'm going to show you now how to do that the first thing that we want to do is we want to take a hammer and a center punch and we want to center punch right in the center of our mark and what that's going to do when we start to drill that's going to stop our drill bit from walking across the bumper to give it a little divot basically to set into to hold it in place so that it doesn't move all over on us and then I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing on this one right here and that'll have those two marked and ready the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start drilling and what we're going to do to drill these is we're going to start out with a small size bit, something that's going to nice and sharp, it's going to cut through this heavy gauge metal really well and then we'll jump up to a half inch bit, and we'll drill it out a half inch and then we're going to get us a step bit and we'll, step the, we'll just start stepping that until we have about an inch and an eighth for these particular sensors. So let's start drilling these out. Okay, we've got that first hole drilled. So now we're gonna come over, we'll drill our hole here. Now that we've got our first bit of our hole punched out, then we're gonna take our half inch bit and we're gonna punch through there with our half inch bit. And uh, once we get to that point, we'll, well, we're going up to about an inch and an eighth, so we'll be just about halfway to the size we need. So let's get this drilled with a half inch. Okay guys, something else that you can do to help your uh, drilling process is use some type of uh, penetrating lubricant or uh, also there's a product called Mystic Metal Mover which you can use to spray on there. But what it's going to do is it's going to help the bit slide better and it's also going to uh, help it so that it cuts because then it won't overheat and uh, heat is bad for drill bits. Now that we've got this one punched out to our half inch size, we're going to go ahead and punch this one out. And uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over and do the other the two on the other side. And then we'll get our step bit and we'll start uh, working these up to the size we need for our sensors. We've got our step bit. So the next thing we're going to do then is we're going to use our step bit and drill out our holes. Just so you can see here, I've, I've already done this one just to show you what the hole looks like when it's all finished up. Nice, perfectly round hole, ready for our sensor to go in there so that we can uh, get our sensors in this bumper. So here we go on, the, on this one. I'll show you how, how quick and easy it is with this step bit. There you go guys, that's how, how fast you can drill those holes out with a step bit. So I'm going to drill the other two and uh, get ready to put our sensors in.